I feel like I'm spending a little too much time justifying my actions to drooling idiots lately. I don't need to justify a single fucking thing that I do to any of you, but it makes for some decent material that I hope will educate a few morons and entertain those that don't need the education. Over the last few months, I released Nerd Rant Series 1, my first attempt at premium content, and I did another run of t-shirts. And of course, the dipshits start up with their YOU'RE SELLING OUT comments. These people have a pretty broad view of what selling out is, I guess. According to their logic, you should do everything for free, volunteer only, and the only person who isn't a sellout is the guy playing guitar on the street corner, but only if he's got his guitar case closed and stops playing if someone puts money on the ground in front of him to ask them to pick it up. Selling out has nothing to do with just earning money. It has everything to do with sacrificing your principles in order to earn money. Lots of bands or artists do this. They'll start out a certain way, then realize there's more money if they soften their sound or sing about more accessible topics, so they adapt their work simply to earn more money. You'll also see so-called artists include cheap product placements in their videos, making sure that Apple or Coca-Cola logo or whatever is nice and visible so they can earn a few extra bucks. Those would be good examples of selling out. Your favorite indie band making t-shirts available at a reasonable price, they're not selling out. Nickelback gets a lot of hate for being sellouts, though I would argue that they never had artistic principles to begin with. Their goal was always to be a commercially accessible rock band, so I'm not sure if you could say they sold out, but some people are a little hypocritical when they talk about Nickelback. The Black Keys drummer Patrick Carney once said this, Rock and roll is dying because people became okay with Nickelback being the biggest band in the world, so they became okay with the idea that the biggest rock band in the world is always going to be shit. Therefore, you should never try to be the biggest rock band in the world. Fuck that. Rock and roll is the music I feel the most passionately about, and I don't like to see it fucking ruined and spoon-fed down our throats in this watered-down, post-grunge crap, horrendous shit. When people start lumping us into that kind of shit, it's like, fuck you, honestly. The Black Keys try and take the moral high ground, trashing Nickelback for being watered down and spoon-fed down our throats, and the reason that rock and roll is dying. Meanwhile, the last time they came through London here, they were charging something like 150 for the floor, and they sell their music to be used in TV shows and commercials and in video games like Rock Band, owned by Viacom, but they're not considered sellouts, not like Nickelback. Come on. Now, I haven't changed a single thing about what I do. I haven't changed my opinion to be more mainstream so that more people would watch it. I'm not actually taking corporate sponsorship, but let me give you a preview of what a dose of Buckley would be like if I actually sold out. A dose of Buckley is brought to you by Burger King. Burger King, have it your way. So, I was at McDonald's the other day, and it was one of the worst experiences I've ever had in a fast food restaurant. First of all, it seemed like they were understaffed or something because it took them about 10 f***ing minutes to make me a Big Mac. Then, I couldn't find a decent table to sit at, they're all still dirty, and there were screaming kids running around everywhere. I wondered why they weren't in the Playland section. Well, it turns out that some kid shit himself in the ball pit, and no one wanted to clean it up, so they closed it for the day. This type of shit never happens when I go to Burger King. Wait times are always fast, they take care of their facilities, and let's face it, a Whopper beats a Big Mac every day of the week. The only reason I went to McDonald's in the first place was because my friend wanted to go, and I'm seriously reconsidering our friendship. And by the way, have you tried BK's new Angry Poppers? If you haven't, get the fuck out of whatever rock you've been living under and get some. Is Burger King a little more expensive than some other places? Sure but it's f***ing worth it. And besides, what, are you poor or something? Don't be a f***ing cheap bastard for once in your f***ing life. That would be selling out. Making a living off something you enjoy doing is not selling out. On the other side of the coin, people tell me that I should just monetize all my videos, but I've always felt that making money from ads on YouTube is selling out. At least for someone like me. Imagine this. Hypothetically, a car company makes an unsafe car and then doesn't do a recall because the settlements from all the injuries are cheaper than doing an actual recall. The Fight Club scenario. I do a video about that, calling them out for being pieces of shit. And it just so happens that the ad that plays before it is for that very same car company. 
So, I'm so outraged by a company being so immoral with their decision to let people be injured and maimed instead of actually fixing the problem at a greater expense, but I'm happy to take their money? That might actually be worse than my fake dose you just heard a minute ago. So, next time your favorite semi-unknown musician, comedian, entertainer, whatever, decides to make a go at making a bit of a career out of what they're doing without being a piece of shit about it, don't start yelling, SELL OUT! Just because you're miserable with your job and every day is a constant battle of wills to go to work without wanting to just stop at the side of the road, lay in a ditch and wait for death, doesn't mean that everyone else has to live that way.